Hi everybody. So today, in today's video, I will be showing you five vehicles that I use every single day on GTA 5. These vehicles range from planes, bikes, helicopters, whatever. Planes are a big one here, and also, yeah, yeah. So I basically showed you the five vehicles, what they cost, and basically just what they're good at. And uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll see you in the video. So let's go. So coming in at number five, we have the Vigilante. Uh, the Vigilante costs a whopping, and I want to say whopping because it costs 3.75 million. It, it costs a lot, okay? The Vigilante costs a lot, but yet again, it is a very, very good car. We take a look. The car basically has very, it has limited rockets. But it's a very fast car. It is legit the fastest car that I've ever driven in GTA 5. Um, it is even on my stats page, which I will show you. Uh, so yeah, so where I'm just here, just driving around, you know, showing you the car. It has wheels, <laughs> a lot of wheels. So here I'm just looking for stats. It's not here, so so stats. If you take a look at, it's not here. In the vehicles, at the very bottom, see what that says. The fastest vehicle ever driven is the Vigilante, and the hundred, two hundred, and is that sixty or eighty miles, uh, kilometers per hour, which basically half that, and that is the miles glitch. So, yeah, I mean, take a look. It's pretty fast. It's a pretty good vehicle to have uh, if you're rich and if you have, I guess, nothing to do. It's good for heists as well. You can use them in heists, and uh, yeah. Coming in at number four, we have the Oppressor Mark One. The reason I like the Oppressor Mark One is because it's a bike and also a flying bike. It's a bit complicated, but it flies, it gets the job done. The missiles are a little hard to get on it, but you know what? It works. So that is why I use it. The reason it's not higher on the list is because the things on the higher on the list I use more often. And the oppressor is just for getting around sometimes, you know, if I'm in a sticky situation. And, uh, yeah, it's a good bike overall. Yeah. The oppressor Mark 1 bike costs 2.65 million. And this is the trade price if you do an MOC mission for it. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, the oppressor Mark 2 is a good vehicle for getting around. Now, for number three, we have the Hydra. Now, the Hydra costs a whopping, a whopping four million for the normal price and three million for the trade price. So, anyways, the Hydra is a really, really, really good plane, or I guess jet, because it's easy to spawn, it's easy to use, it has a what I like to call helicopter mode and a normal jet mode. So here, I just want to. I'm just flying around here, showing you the jet. Has a first person you can use as explosive cannons, homing missiles, and just missiles that you can shoot. The cannons are too OP. Now the you can use hi the Hydra for many things. Uh, what I usually like to use the Hydra for is fighting against griefers and basically doing headhunter and stuff like that. You can really, you know, protect your friends while they're doing a cell mission. Or just have some fun in it. Flying around doing some knife flies, doing some under the bridges. You know, really have some nice little fun here. Now, I'm gonna really gonna have to show you something. So, one special thing about the Hydra is that you can have two of them at a time. So, if you have a personal, so if you basically get a Pegasus Hydra and put it into your hangar, that is now your personal vehicle, but if you have the personal vehicle Hydra out, you can still get a Pegasus Hydra, which means you and one more friend could use a Hydra if you if just you have the Hydra. As you can see, I'm driving in my personal vehicle Hydra, and right down here I'm just landing on my uh, Pegasus Hydra. So you can use two at a time, which is pretty good, and they're both the same. The only thing you can customize in a personal Hydra is the color. A lot of people like to choose black, gold, whatever. I personally go with the white. But yeah, that is um, the Hydra. 
It's a really good plane. Uh, I say get it. It's not better than a laser, but it is worth its price. So coming in at number two, we have the Rogue. The Rogue costs a measly $1.2 million. Now, if you want to upgrade it and put some homing missiles, some kind of upgrades on it, it will set you back to $2 million. But then yet again, for a plane that is really good and really agile, it is totally worth it. Trust me, it is. So anyways, here we have the Rogue. I'll just fly it around a itsy bitsy bit because... The last session I was in, while I was trying to record this video, was very griefy. Even though there was only 10 people in it, every single one of them was griefers. So I had to go into an invite only. So I can't do any PvP or any showcases except fly. So it is a very agile plane. As you can see, we have the Explosives MG, which is basically like the Explosives Cannon, but worse. Downgraded. It can still destroy vehicles, it can still kill people is still as good, if not better. The one thing about the Rogue that not a lot of people say is that it can ex it can basically survive more than two missiles, where which the laser and the hydrojet cannot do. And they cannot do it. They legit cannot do it. And guess what? This little propeller plane for 1.2 million it's a better dogfighter than the laser and the hydra. At least in my opinion. To be honest, I use it pretty rarely. But if I were going to use one, I would use this instead of a hydra. Because it holds two people. It has bombs. It has guns. It has missiles. It has everything you need in a plane. And coming in at number one, it is the Night Shark. I love the Night Shark, and it is very cheap. It only costs, it only costs 1.245 million. You can get it in different color, and it is a very, very good, um, I guess SUV you could say. It can carry four people, if not six. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it fully out, but it can survive explosions. So here, the Night Shark is good at getting away from people. It's good at maybe, you know, if you're ever in a situation where somebody whips out a fully loaded Ruiner and, you know, you really just want to get away from them, the Night Shark is the perfect thing. The fully loaded Ruiner, while it has a lot of missile missiles, while it has very good armor, while it has everything, it will not beat the Night Shark. I beat a Griefer in the fully loaded Ruiner once with just the Night Shark. And I did it pretty well. And to be honest, the Night Shark is totally worth its money. And you should get it because it is an amazing vehicle. And here I'm going to show you how many uh, RPGs it can take. So I have this glitch where uh, my thing is constantly on. So let's take a look. So keep in mind, uh, you don't usually get people shooting RPGs at you. Keep in mind, human launchers are way weaker than RPGs. But it can still take... A whopping six RPGs. I don't know if I did the math right there, but it, it can take a whopping six or five RPGs, depends where you hit it. But yeah, still very, very good thing, and that is where basically uh, I want to end off today's video. So going back into the office, I just want to thank you for watching and tell me if you disagree or if I missed one that you like and you personally think is really good. Uh, I love each and every single one of these vehicles, and I use them on the daily, sometimes the weekly, depends what I do, and, uh, yeah, tell me if you prefer longer, shorter videos, if you want more demonstration or less demonstration, no voiceover or less voiceover, depends, tell me what you want, and, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, remember to subscribe, it is free, you can always unsubscribe if you ever feel like it, and, uh, yeah, tell me if you like the GDA comment. Alright, peace out.